His head is like sideways. This is this is how 1989 Batman's head looks. He's like, "What's up, brother?" Okay, so this guy here is a very <laughs> expensive, um, you'll see, I mean, let me open it. Something I've been wanting forever. And when it came out, I was like, I have to buy this. <laughs> and let me tell you, buying this was not easy by any means. like a box within a box. That looks like it was a box cover. Box cover. Another box cover to keep the ends out. Man, getting this thing out of here is no joke. It's like in here good. So, here we go again. Well, I'll give it to McFarland. They definitely, they definitely keep their stuff secure. And this thing is no joke. You want it to be secure. Gosh. All right. I'm opening this because I don't care. I want this. I've been wanting it for a while. So we're opening this bad boy. It is. Something I pre-ordered and fought to get. It is the Batman 1989 Batman with Batmobile. Michael Keaton from the 89 movie. And no joke, I've, I love that movie. No, no joke, my mother made us see this movie so many times. I'm not kidding. So we're gonna open this guy up, see what we got here. Man, my reflection with the, everything is just so bad. Let me turn this off real quick. You guys don't need the uh, computer glare going back into everything. Bad enough you get the lights above my head. So we're gonna open this up. I normally turn the ring light on, but then the ring light might shine into this tube, so. I don't have the best uh, lighting in my house. This wasn't even a bad price. It was $75 on Amazon, except the only problem was trying to get it. It was really hard to get. It like sells out instantly. And when McFarlane put it back out, people were buying it left and right. You couldn't even get it. I got lucky. I waited on there and I grabbed it. Well, let's get Batman out of here first because here's 1989 Batman with a wonderful head. His head is like sideways. This is, this is how 1989 Batman's head looks. He's like, what's up, brother? <laughs> we'll fix that real quick. They even gave him, you know what's great, is they gave him the, the bat symbol from 89, which a lot of the ones from 89 don't realize that, you know, Tim Burton's symbol was different. Man, I love this movie. My mom made us see it so many times. 
Just such a good freaking movie. Batmobile's a nice size. There's some pieces here in the back that I almost threw away. The fins in the back of the Batmobile. And Batman has a stand, of course. McFarlane's awesome with that, I have to say. I do like that. Man, look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Oh my gosh, man. I love Batman 89. And I did not like what it did, did to him in the movie. He should have been, in the new Flash movie, he should have been uh, way more. I'm gonna have a lot of garbage cleanup, man. <laughs> no joke. I just scared my dog. <laughs> she just jumped. <laughs> I don't know exactly which side goes here. I'm trying to figure that out. Okay, so this is this piece. So this has got to go here. Yeah. The only thing I wish they would have done better with this is I could have swore this was darker tinted. But as you can see here, it does come off. I'm going to kind of take the camera into here so you guys can see it. You don't have to dismind my dog. She's sorry. <laughs> There's a garbage pickup and my dog likes the garbage pickup. But look at that, like the lights are on there. When he does, he can sit in it, which is amazing. So that's, uh, that's really cool. But that's uh, the Batmobile. Here's the best part. The fire in the back, <laughs> kind of keeping that old 60s feel. This would be where the guns would mount and it used to open up and the guns, this would jump out and the guns would come out of this. So we've got Batman and the Batmobile.